guys, how's it going? Tiers back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 13, so hopefully it's not going to be unlucky for us. But in the last episode, we suffered a couple of setbacks in the league. And if you missed the previous episode, there will be a link to it in the bottom left-hand side of your pictures and annotation. And of course, feel free to check the channel or the uh, channel page or the playlist for, for it if you did miss it. But uh, we did okay on a personal level, as you can see in the past four matches. We, uh, we reached the minimum expectation of average rating. We picked up the one assist that was expected of us, although we didn't score a single goal. And uh, we weren't obviously able to maintain a goal conversion rate either. So I don't think we deserve to pick up a boost for that at, uh, at any stage. So we're going to push on into the next bulk of four, which is, will start with, uh, with MK Dons at home. As you can see, then Bristol City away, Port Vale at home and Oldham away. Now they won a 7.2 rating from us, one goal and a goal to conversion rate goal to shot conversion rate of 20%. They don't necessarily want any assists from us, so uh, that's at least one less target we have to reach, because if we can pick up an assist and uh, help the team win in any way we possibly can, then of course that would be better than not. But we're starting against uh, MK Dons at home, as you can see on the bottom left, a weaker side again, Dominguez who had a monster of a game against, uh, against not County? Question mark? No, it was against Wolves, wasn't it? And by monster of a game, I mean in the negative sense. It was horrific. So we're starting up top with Jefferson as well, so fingers crossed he can uh, pull a performance out of the bag, we can get three points, because we need them, because MK Dons are sat just above us in the league, so uh, this is definitely a top of the team, top of the table playoff class as well, so fingers crossed we can pick up a win and maintain our playoff push. Thank you very much, Good challenge. Could be in. Am I onside? I'm not sure. I am onside. Real chance here. We'll power it towards the near post. Rifle it into the roof of the net. That's a great finish. I was a bit concerned the goalkeeper was going to get there then. Calm down, boys. Oh, look at all the accomplishments we're getting as well. Finishing up one. Ten out of ten goals. That's, well, that's our tenth goal of our career. That kind of told me everything that uh, we needed to know about that goal. I'm really pleased with that finish as well. A lot of power behind it. The goalkeeper almost got there with his left hand. But uh, just too much pace on the ball. Great finish. Our tenth of our career. And we go 1-0 up away at MK Don No, at home against MK Dons. Oh, ref. That's a horrible challenge from behind. Chance of a red here. Just a yellow. That was a disgraceful challenge. He really ran the risk of getting a red there. That is awful. Straight through the back of him. Nowhere near the ball. Odalusi is lucky to still be on the pitch. Not keen on this move. That's a lovely ball in. It's Odalusi with the shot. He almost managed to get in on the, on the deflection there. After not really deserving to be on the pitch anymore. Win that big Jeff. He has done. Oh, we could be in. After not deserving to be on the pitch. In my opinion, Odalusi almost pulled them a goal back there. Going in at half time with a 1 0 lead. Our goal, the difference at the break. But it's been a couple of tasty challenges so far in this, uh, in this first half. Definitely exciting second half on the horizon if things keep going the way they are. Maybe there'll be a red card. Who knows? It's definitely been an eventful opening 45. So let's try and continue that into the second half. Maybe maybe pick up another goal, extend the lead if we possibly can. There's another one of those tasty challenges on uh, Sam Baldock. And then again, another replay of our powerful finish into the back of the net. But uh, let's push on into the second half and continue our, uh, our good performance so far. Oh, there's that other challenge. That's horrible. Two-footed on his standing leg. Honestly, that's a red card. We've got a chance of being behind here if Murphy can find us. And he has done. Now can we get a turn inside? I'll try a step over turn. We have done. Going to have to hit it early because there's a man coming. And that is a fantastic strike. Cross the goal into the bottom corner. Sheffield United 2. MK Dons nil, Chesnoid with both of the goals. That was a great strike. Lovely step over inside the first man. I had to hit this early because the man was coming across. Just too much power behind it. A couple of powerful finishes in this episode so far from us. It's the 11th goal of our career and the 10th at, uh, at Sheffield United, I believe, considering we scored one in pre-season at Chelsea as well. That is a really great strike. Hit it straight down the, uh, straight down the middle of the ball. Really true strike of the ball. And uh, we have extended the lead just like we wanted to. We'll try and set up the man. Skelgel on the edge. Going on a cheeky run. Not really too sure where he's going. But he's done well. Can we get a cross in? I'm going to call for it. And then I'm going to hit it first time. Oh, 
Although I've, a curve's gone up. That was a 40th shot on target. Oh, I thought we were going to get a chance for another shot there as well. But Big Jeff makes the foul, unfortunately. We're playing well so far. You can see we've got a 9.5 rating as we head into the final 10 minutes. And there we go then. There is the final whistle. We really made the difference in that one. That is most definitely our best performance in a Sheffield United shirt to date. Picking up the Man of the Match award, I would presume, because we were on a 9.5, I believe, at the end of the game there. Yes, 9.5. No assists, but two goals, three shots, and so uh, our shot to uh, goal to shot ratio, the percentage that they were asking for us for the uh, for the bulk of four games is 66% as we stand in uh, these opening uh, 90 minutes. Then 71% pass completion, decent as well. Ball retention not quite as good as it could have been, but that, surely that was a man of the match performance. Yes, it was. So uh, that was fantastic. I was really, really, I am really, really pleased with uh, with that game. Hopefully, we can push on and get a decent result in the next game as well that should push us above MK Dons in the league as well which is even better for uh, for the team as well as ourselves we've also gone up an overall rating again to 73 and we've got Bristol City next as you can see on the uh, the objectives for the season as a whole the uh, the goals that tally expected has moved into the yellow from the red we're projected 21 so we're on definitely on target for that but maybe we can pick up an assist in the second game if possible and uh, perhaps we can improve on that side of things as well. We're starting up top alongside Billy Painter in this next game. So fingers crossed he can make the difference as well. And we can come out with another victory. We'll have to wait and see. Well, they're giving it away. Try and find Billy. Make a run. I think I'm off. I am off. That's unfortunate. That was a good move there, actually. It was a nice one too with Billy Painter. Unfortunately, just couldn't quite find the ball quick enough for me to, uh, to be through clean on goal by breaking that offside trap. But a decent start. Positive start. Oh, that's a nice dink ball through to Kelly. Great sliding challenge, though. Oh, sounded like Tony the Tiger there. Great sliding challenge. Chesnoy played in. We should have the pace to get away from Williams. We do have the pace to get away from Williams. We'll look for a cross towards the back post. There's a man on the header. Oh, and he snuck into the back of the net. In off the post. Fantastic header. Who was that? Was it Flynn? It was Flynn. That was a great header. So we have picked up that assist we were asking for already in the eighth minute. What a game we're having. What an episode we're having here right now. Two goals and an assist in 98 minutes worth of football. Fantastic. He's found us again. Got away. I'm going to try a finesse. So he's dug it out. Oh, that was headed towards the top corner. Great save from the goalkeeper. Maybe we can pick up something from the corner. Go on, son. Whip it in. It's coming. Billy Painter's way. He's won the header. Oh, it's just wide of that far post. That was a decent effort. We're on top in these early stages. Really on top. So we've got to throw in down in this bottom corner. I'm going to look for my runner there. It's a good chest from Flint. I'm going to call for it again, so maybe we can stand the ball up. Up he goes. Can we get another assist? Off the post. So close to a second goal and a second assist. Jeepers, we are on fire right now, both individually and as a team. This is phenomenal performance from the boys. Nice football from Bristol City here from that throw-in. J. Emmanuel Thomas into Kelly. Tries the shot or cross, not sure, but they pick up a corner. Threatening here, Bristol City, for the first time in the match, to be completely honest. I don't know why I've called for the ball there. I was just trying to skip the replay. Away we go. Oh, God. Away we... I'm not really too sure what attempt of uh, defensive clearance that was for me. There, surely that's handball against J. Emmanuel Thomas. Ball gets whipped in. They've got a man free in the box, and it's 1-1. One, one. I don't know whether that came from my ridiculous attempt at a defensive clearance, or... It was just a quality ball in and their man was free in the middle. But nonetheless, we are back on level terms at 1-1. And we've got it all to do as we head in towards the second half. Seen the man over all the way over there. It's a lovely ball through. Davies has the shot off the post again. We could have had three assists already in this game. Wowzers. What a, what a game this is. And we've got a free kick here on the edge of the box. I'm not sure who's going to take it. Oh, we're trying something from the... Uh, from the training ground, we're going to try. Oh, it's unfortunate. It's over the top. It's a deflection. We could be in here if I can find Billy Painter, who's in behind with the chance. With the chance, goes for the shot, and it's, um, it's unfortunately wide of the target. Really should have done better there, Billy. Maybe it was just a poor shot selection on his weak foot. Maybe could have used the outside of his stronger right, but just no technique there whatsoever. 
Here we go at half time then. Somehow the score is only 1 1. We could easily have had 4 or 5 in that opening half. It's been a really, really competitive game, a really fun game. This episode is going really, really well. We've got two goals and an assist. Could have had a hat trick of assists in this game already. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in the second 45. But if we can continue the, uh, the form we've been showing already in this episode, then maybe we could come out with another win. Oh, ball's dropped free to us. I'm going to give it. No, I'm not. I was going to give it. Oh, it's deflected. Oh, jeeps. I was going to give that a smack from uh, like 30 yards. Our, uh, our other guy had the shot. It ran away from me, but it takes a deflection. Almost ended up going into that top corner. It's done well to win that. Can I get a runner? I can. It's Billy Painter. Gets tackled, but the ball drops free. It's Murphy. Uh, I don't know where to off the option. Billy Painter stayed down. That's unfortunate. That's really disappointing, actually. He looks like he's hurt his rib or his elbow, perhaps. Oh, God. He's gone down in an absolute heap. That did look painful, actually. Hopefully, he's not going to be out for too long. Can. Cut back on the... Oh, no. We'll take, a le we'll take a left foot. We'll take a corner. I was trying to cut back onto my left foot. Maybe maybe the corner can come our way. He's coming our way, but I'm not going to get anywhere near that. Have a shot, Big Jeff. It's dropped for Collins. Goes around the goalkeeper. In off the post. What a finish. I thought he'd absolutely hack that wide. That is a centre-back, Collins, with the, uh, with the goal in the end. And he's standing inside of me to celebrate that goal. That was a fantastic finish. Not really too sure what the goalkeeper was doing. He kind of took it round him. I want to see a replay of that. Deflected. The first touch goes around the goalkeeper. Oh, he really nearly completely screwed that up. That's an awful connection. But in off the post, right into the top corner. Fantastic. We're 2-1 up. A deserved lead, nonetheless. But uh, a lucky lead, it has to be said. Where we go. Again, great flick on Big Jeff. I'm not really too sure why he's trying to turn back towards goal there. And that could, that could prove costly. Oh, but he's tracked back well. I have to give him credit for that. But we've still not got the ball clear. But there goes the final whistle. We are going to take a 2-1 win from this game against Bristol City. Really, really pleased to be able to get that winner in a fortuitous circumstances. It has to be said. But still, we picked up all three points in both games of this episode. And it's a great way to bounce back from the two defeats in the earlier episode on Thursday night as well. We pick up a 7.5, which is decent. Not the best, but still a, uh, a decent performance. I'm not sure who got man of the match. We got man of the match again. Two man of the match performances in this episode. If it was Ultimate Team, there would be an orange Chesnoid card coming out on the market. What what a fantastic couple of games it has for us and for Sheffield United as a whole. Billy Payne, injury news. Hopefully he's not going to be out for too long. It's just a bruised elbow. It's eight days, which is very, very pleasing. So you can see we've now got 10 goals, five assists in our 21 matches played on the right-hand side. We've got a game coming up against... I'm not sure who that badge is. Is that Cheltenham? Question mark. It is Cheltenham in the FA Cup. Ooh, interesting. And then we've got another cup game there. That's the uh, Johnson's Paint Trophy, which we're into the semi-final of area semi-finals. So we've got a couple of, cap couple of cup matches coming to you tomorrow on Sunday. But this is, of course, Saturday. Saturday so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely superb. I think we deserve one after our performances in this one. We'll have a quick look at the squad report, see how the player is developing, considering we've gone up another rating to, uh, to 73 now. Up five from the start. We're getting quite fast. Acceleration of 80, sprint speed of 83 finishing of 74 we're looking like an all-round decent player now really really pleased with how we've been growing as a pro but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching like i say feel free to leave the video a like if you missed the previous episode then check the channel page for it, it was out thursday yesterday of course there was ac milan career modes tomorrow at 12 o'clock again we're going to have another my player with those two cup games and if you aren't subscribed to the channel already then feel free to do so to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the content coming your way on chesnoid gaming we're very very close to 7,000 subscribers now so if we can hit that over the weekend that would be absolutely superb but that's all for today so thank you very very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.